guys, I know I said originally I'd break up the videos on each module of the paper, but I decided today I'm going to talk about how to write an introduction, the body, and the conclusion of your paper because it makes sense to talk about this as one cohesive unit. The first thing I want to tell you about your paper, the most important thing about your paper is that it has to flow logically. You can't have information that's not necessary for us to understand your argument. So get rid of everything tangential. But more than that, the ideas that you do present have to be presented in the right order for it to make sense. Okay, so let's start with the introduction. The introduction is your opportunity to frame your story, right? What's the question? By the end of the first paragraph of the introduction, we should know what your question is and why it's important. It's really important to get to the point and stick focus very, very closely on your topic. What's the, pro what's the problem, right? Why are you asking this question? What's the gap in our knowledge? You've got to explain why it's important. It just can't be some random topic that you think you should write a paper about, right? That's why we went over what, what question you should ask so, so thoroughly. Okay, so once you've got the first paragraph out of the way, the rest of the paragraphs throughout their entire paper should act as standalone essays. And this is something very important. Each paragraph in your paper, whether it's the introduction, the body of the paper or the conclusion should be a standalone essay. And what I mean by that is each paragraph has only one idea in it. Each paragraph has an introductory sentence, which links it to the story or the paragraph before. It has two to three supporting sentences. And then it has kind of a summary sentence to conclude. So in fact, it's like this little kind of microcosm of essay in each paragraph. And that's really, really important. So you have to pay attention while you're writing. Please only put one idea in each paragraph. Don't put two ideas in one paragraph. And goodness, don't do more than two ideas, just one idea per paragraph, okay? And the order, I said the order is really important and that's why I wanted you to make an outline. You are presenting, and it might be a really complicated logic, right? A, a flow of logic of either why something is so, why something isn't so, or what we need to know to find out if something is so. You have to introduce each paragraph in the right spot. So to do that, I think you should, I told all my students to give each of their paragraphs a subheading and some of them you'll keep, but some of them will just be, as you're writing your draft, a subheading that tells you what that paragraph is about to keep you on target and to allow you to write your the proper order of your paper more easily. That's really important. Okay, so by the end of your introduction, you've given us just enough information and no more to understand why this is an important question to answer and what the general context is surrounding it. Good rule of thumb is if you gave it to your parents to read, if they're not biologists, they should be able to understand your introduction and they should be able to get why it's important. This shouldn't be too long. Your introduction shouldn't be too long, um, maybe two to three pages max, right? Because you're, well, actually, no, this, your paper's super short. It should, be, it should be one page max for you guys. Okay, so you're moving, you've, you've established why you're doing this and why it's important. The body of the paper, the review paper, is where you present your evidence that you've accumulated. This is where you answer the question. And I strongly suggest you use subject headings here too to keep you on track with the flow of your ideas. Um, each paragraph needs to build on the one before, right? They can't just be these orphaned random paragraphs. They need, you're building a story iteratively, one paragraph after the other. And all of them are linked to the original question. If I don't understand why this paragraph is important for your overall story, it's going to be hard to follow the story. So it's a really good idea to kind of, at least in your summary sentence at the end of the paragraph, to link back why, why that paragraph was necessary or what it told us. Now, the conclusion, this is where you revisit your original question. Were you able to answer the question? If not, why? And if, if so, what's left to know? Is it, is it completely solved? Is everything wonderful? Or are there questions left? I'm sure given the state of the world and nature and reality, there's always gonna be questions left unanswered. Um, so in a nutshell, 
that's how to write a review paper. So the key take home points are number one, each paragraph should be a standalone essay with one idea in it. The order of your paragraphs is super important. It has to flow logically and they have to be, they have to reference one another, right? They can't just be standalone. Number three, include everything we need to understand your problem, but don't give us anything that we don't need to understand your problem. And finally, at the end, answer your question. Did you answer your question? Evaluate that, right? It's really important to have some um, introspection over, over your ideas. Okay, I think that's it for this video and good luck.